I'd just like to welcome everybody to the downtown east side. This is the uh, ground zero for the social economic impacts of the 2010 Winter Olympics. And if you have time, you should walk around the area here just so you can see the levels of devastation and desperation that the government and the corporations have imposed on the people down here. And if you go a few blocks over there, you can see the massive security fencing and apparatus that the RCMP and the Vancouver police are installing here. We see that the games have been overrun with a budget of over $7 billion. Indigenous lands continue to be exploited and stolen with ski resort development all across British Columbia. Increasing poverty and criminalization of the poor in the downtown east side. A massive cutback in public spending and an increasing budget for policing and militarization here in Vancouver. We have $1 billion that are being sunk into a military police state in the lead up to the Olympics. Notorious environmental criminals like the Dow Chemicals that are receiving public money to actually get contracts for the Olympic Games while people in Bhopal, India are still suffering and don't have clean drinking water after one of the biggest industrial disasters the world has ever seen. And I will say here today that we are absolutely a threat to the Games. But we are not a threat to the public. What we are a threat to, we're a threat to the corporate sponsors and the industry and the governments that prop them up of these games. We are absolutely a threat to these games and that's why we are seeing a $1 billion security budget that's being mobilized by these gov this government. Next Friday, there will be a demonstration in this town that's probably never been seen before in an Olympic city. And al although Bud Mercer expects violent criminals to descend on the city, he will actually be surprised because many of the people who are going to be coming are going to be people who have never been to protests before. I get calls every day from ordinary people who have probably never held a protest sign in their lives. I had one the other day from a soccer mom whose son, who's 13, has been investigating the Olympics and decided he didn't like them and wanted to come down and protest. And she called me up to say, would it be safe to come downtown and protest? And I said, yes, it would. They could come to the, 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 the rally at the art gallery. I'm glad your son is involved. So this kind of thing is happening. And I think Bud Mercer is going to be really surprised when he sees how many ordinary people are out there who don't like the games for all the reasons that my colleagues have, have elucidated.